When we talk about vehicles of the future, for many people they immediately think of replacing the car. But in many parts of the world, the predominant form of transport is actually a bike. And so how can we make those better? That's something else that Lip Motors is looking at. Ryan, you're part of the team. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you describe this bike to us? I mean, the first thing that jumps out of us uh, immediately on the design is this open space here. Yeah, so we optimize this for cargo carrying. You've got about a 22-inch square space right here in the middle that you can carry pretty much anything. Uh, it'll carry up to about 100 to 200 pounds of cargo in addition to the rider. Um, so this, when we see those pictures of bikes piled high with baskets and goods and things and the driver somehow perched in the middle, you've tried to turn that on, this, on its head and make this more about the cargo first and the, and the driver on the back here. Exactly. Uh, though those drivers are somehow able to navigate the streets safely, <laughs> uh, we're trying to make that even safer. Um, you know, by making something that is specifically geared towards carrying cargo, they can do so uh, in a much better way. So you obviously have no engine up here, so how do you drive this bike? So we're using an in-hub motor. So the motor is right here. In the center of the wheel, this, this exactly. disc Th is actually Exactly. This is the motor, motor itself. And so that means that you can do pretty much whatever you want with the vehicle architecture. We decided to optimize for cargo carrying. So you can see the large cargo space there. So yeah, let's focus in on this then, because this is the key part. So this actually really gives you enough space to carry just about anything, almost people by the looks of things. I could just about get in there. Exactly, we've actually done that before. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're working on a variety of different ways to strap things down, mount things to it. Right now we've got these hooks, but we have a number of other designs. Uh, with the goal of making this pretty much a pickup truck on two wheels. And I guess what's key is the, the, the cargo is fairly low to the ground as opposed to being balanced very high up. Exactly. By keeping the cargo low and then also having the layer of batteries down here low as well, you've got a very low center of gravity, so it's very stable. And as innovative as this idea is, you're taking it a step further with this prototype. Uh, describe to us with how this is going to work once you've had the chance to, to build it out a bit more. So this, when it's all built up, looks almost identical to this other one. The key difference is that this one folds in half. So you get to your destination, yank up on the handlebars. So these are these hinge parts here yep, at the top and bottom. Yep, hinge here and there. And it compresses down to about 50% of the original footprint. OK, so we get to the destination, lift it up. Yep. the whole thing up. So why would you want to fold your bike in half? That will be really huge in a lot of places like China, where the norm is to not leave your scooter parked out on the street, but to actually bring it into your apartment building with you. Ryan, we can see the bike in action on the streets here. This isn't just a, a prototype in your workshop. This is a, a real riding bike being driven very confidently by Ankit here. Um, it was very quiet pulling up to us. Yeah, that's one of the benefits of electric vehicles. They're very quiet. How long do you think before we see something like this commercially available? We should have a production-ready prototype within a few months, and we should go to production by the end of this year. Well, that's great. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Ankit.